this represents the contract we've signed with LG Energy Solutions, a significant increase in the amount of batteries that we'll collect over the period of the contract um, in the order of 140% uh, higher than what we collected in uh, uh, FY23. How much extra capacity do you have to collect and recycle lithium-ion batteries? Oh, look, we've probably still got uh, uh, a, an additional 50% capacity um, to be able to recycle batteries over and above what we've agreed with LG in our current volumes. Uh, so there's plenty of capacity at our Victorian facilities. Why is it you're not fulfilling that capacity now? Uh, look, we're still at the start of battery uh, recycling coming, uh, coming to, f to the fore. Um, I think if we look at forward volumes by 2025, I think the industry is predicting about 100,000 tonnes of lithium ion, large format lithium ion batteries being sold in Australia. By 2028, that moves to 200,000 tonnes. And by 2038, that's close to uh, 800,000 tonnes. So uh, we're really just at the start of starting to recycle, particularly large format uh, lithium ion batteries. What regulation is that dependent upon? The Federal Environment Minister says the government will regulate a stewardship scheme for the safe disposal of small electrical products and equipment, but that does not cover all the batteries we're talking about. No, it doesn't. Um, I think it would be a good start and we welcome the Minister's comments. We do note that all the Environment Ministers have agreed to look at uh, recommend and ask for recommendations on uh, end-of-life batteries and what should be done with those and uh, what regulations are needed to encourage recycling. At the moment, 85% of batteries are finding their way to landfill. The Battery Stewardship Council estimated at the end of last year that recycling and reusing battery waste in a circular economy could reap $30 billion by 2036. Can that be achieved if the EV sector isn't included in the scheme? Look, I think what we see with uh, the large uh, battery uh, format producers is they do generally take their uh, sustainability and circularity uh, obligations seriously. Um, whether they need to be included in a scheme or not, um, I think there's still work to be done. Um, certainly we work closely with, a, with those major brands and we still find that they are prepared to work with us uh, in recycling uh, their, their batteries and making sure that they meet their obligations. You say there's more to be done. The EU has mandated a specific level of recycled content in batteries. Is there a reason you can think of that Australia hasn't done the same? Look, I think Australia is still catching up a little bit. Um, the EU just had legislation for quite some time that uh, ensures that batteries don't wake their way to landfill. We only have three uh, jurisdictions in Australia, Victoria, the ACT and South Australia, that have a ban on batteries making their way to landfill. So we've still got some basic things to put in place before we start to uh, mandate recycled content in batteries. Uh, but I do think that will be part of the future. What would that mean to the push to recycle the critical mineral content in batteries? Um, I think what it will mean is that uh, we'll start to see that actually fill the demand gap. Um, certainly predictions of uh, mining shortfalls um, as we get to the end of this decade uh, are, are numerous and I think recycling is a key part of making sure that we can meet uh, the demand for batteries. Um, so certainly starting to mandate recycled content is going to encourage and make sure that we can meet the battery requirements for the future to help us with decarbonisation and electrification. Lithium Australia posted a half-year loss of $4.5 million. Critical mineral prices are down. Is it a cold, hard fact that it is more expensive to recycle lithium than dig it up out of the ground? Look, uh, recycling generally of any product um, is more expensive than pulling virgin materials out of the ground. Um, there is a lot uh, that's taken in terms of collection of, uh, of batteries in this instance. Uh, processing them and then getting them back into batteries. Um, so the sustainability is certainly not a, uh, uh, something that's done for free. Um, and in terms of Lithium Australia's performance, um, we continue to see our recycling business move towards profitability and uh, we're very confident about the future that it holds. Simon Lynch, thank you. Great to be with you.